Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to reinstall the system software on your PlayStation 4. So if you're upgrading your hard drive to like an SSD or something like that or more storage, well, you're going to need to reinstall the system software. And I'm just going to be using a USB stick like this. And this one's 16 gigabyte. The download is only one gigabyte and we should be good with this. Now, when you plug in your USB stick, you need to format this to FAT32 or EXFAT. So let's find it under File Explorer. This should pop open. Right click on it and then go to Format. Make sure you 100% know exactly what you're formatting. If you format your hard drive, you're going to lose everything on your computer. So find it over here and then go to the capacity, look at the capacity, and then here's the file system. Uh, let's go to FAT32. If you're drive is too large, you'll only have EXFAT as an option. So go with one of those two and then go to start and then go to OK. And this should be formatted and it's going to delete everything off your little USB drive. Now I'm going to open this back up and we need to create a folder. And inside that folder, we need to put the update file. So let's go back over to my drive and I'm going to locate it right here. Then I'm going to right click into here then go to new and go to folder with all capitals go to ps4 just like this then click into here right click go to new go to folder and all capitals let's do update okay then we can click into here this is where we're going to need to put the reinstallation file from uh, playstation.com so let's open up a web browser now go to playstation.com Press enter. Then let's go to support. Click this and we can just go to hardware right away. Under here, let's go to consoles. Then click on the PlayStation 4. So this might take a little bit of time for it to load. Then here's the PS4. And for some reason, this is a little bit slower too. Let's go to software update. Then we want to go to reinstallation system software. Then let's go to here, click this, then the blue text. And finally, under this page, we can scroll on down. Now, the first option is going to be for the PS4 console update file. We don't want to download that. We want to go to the PS4 reinstallation file. And then if we go to the plus icon, we can expand this and we can see exactly what we need to do. Now let's go to PlayStation 4 console reinstallation file, click this, and then we're going to download it. Now, if you're downloading multiple files, you want to click and remove the original file over to your folder. So once this is done, I'm going to open this up. It will give me an option. It's only one gigabyte. It's not going to take very long. So let's go to show in folder. You can just click right here and then we can go to show in folder. And here's the file. So I have three different files in here. I want the one uh, PS4 update.pup. If you have a number in it, I believe it's not going to work. So just click the original. All right. So I have this file right here, the original one with no numbers. I'm going to drop and drag it into my USB drive. And then I'm going to wait for it to uh, transfer completely. And for me, this is going to take about 45 seconds. All right, so while this is transferring, we can just look at some hard drives on Amazon.com. If you're looking to upgrade, you can get about one terabyte for about $50. And this will be a 2.5 inch solid state drive. And this is going to increase your loading times on your PS5 by about five times. So it's going to be much quicker. So I would highly recommend getting an SSD if you're upgrading. All right, now with your PlayStation 4 turned on, we want to completely turn it off. So I'm going to wait for the lights to stop blinking, and then I'm going to hold down the power button right here. But all we have to do is slide our USB device directly into the front slot on my PlayStation 4. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to place it in, and then I'm going to hold down the power button. And I'm going to hold it down for about 10 seconds until I hear a second beep. And then I can go ahead and let go. And this will manually turn off my PlayStation 4. Now, if you're going to be removing the hard drive and placing a new one, this should just slide off by press, 
uh, putting some pressure on it. And then you'll have one screw right here you just have to remove. And this will pop off. And then you can slide the hard drive out. So I'm gonna wait for my PlayStation 4 to completely turn off. Then slide it out. And there's gonna be four screws that you have to remove. Just make sure you're aligning this correctly so it looks like this. Then put the four screws in, slide the hard drive in, put the screw back in, and screw it down. Put the cover back on, the back side first, then you can slide it over and it'll snap. Now hold down the power button, you'll hear one beep initially, and then you'll hear a second beep. This is an indication that you're starting in safe mode. And this is where we can access the menu to uh, reinstall the system software. Now you need a USB cable connected and you have to plug in your controller and press the PlayStation button. Otherwise you won't be able to operate the safe mode menu. All right, so let's sign into my account right here. Then on the home screen here, we can go all the way over to the library and then we can go to purchased right here and we can re-download our games back onto our PlayStation 4. So we can just select it and then go to download on the left side right here. And I used my PlayStation app on my phone to sign in. I just had to type in a pass key and I scanned the QR code, it was super easy. Now I wanna show you the difference with an SSD on my PlayStation 4. So here's Minecraft. I'm gonna go ahead and start this up. And if you ever play Minecraft on your PlayStation 4, it takes nearly three minutes to load and get past this red screen. It takes a long time. But with an SSD on my PlayStation 4, it only takes like 30 to 40 seconds. So it's a huge upgrade. Definitely worth your 40 to $50 of investment if you're gonna to continue to have a PlayStation 4. So since you reinstalled the system software, you need to set your PlayStation 4 as the primary console. So if you don't do this, you won't be able to play offline. And you might get a giant lock symbol by a bunch of your games. So we wanna go up to settings right here, then go to account management, then go to where it says activate as your primary PS4 and select this. And then we should have an option down here on the bottom right to activate as primary. Mine is just taking a little bit of time to load, but actually it's up at the top. So if you set your PlayStation 4 as primary, you can share all games and you can share PlayStation Plus to every other account on your PlayStation. So you definitely wanna go ahead and do this. If you are trying to play offline, you'll get a lock symbol without doing that, I believe. So hopefully this quick little video did indeed help you out. Did leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.